What's up, Internet? This is Mecca again. And today we're going to talk about very nuclear Very move there, amen. Okay, this cologne is my strongest cologne. Um, this I got after watching a review on YouTube and seeing, hearing a lot of good things about it. It's great. I get a lot of compliments with this cologne, but when I first wore it, I sprayed too much. That was the problem with this. Now. I just go three sprays under my shirt. This cologne I like to wear on the weekend. Reason being is I try to wear this at work. However, it, um, the projection was too much. The longevity and projection, the, the projection itself, and the smell for the first three hours, I would say, was too much for work. It has, in the first hour, if the first, I'd say, for the first four hours, it has a smell like, if you've ever made marijuana cookies, or marijuana chocolate cookies, just marijuana, before you make the, any kind of marijuana bakery product, not that I do that anymore. <laughs> Before you make any marijuana bakery products, you're gonna mix it with butter and crush the marijuana and put it in butter. You have like an oil-based product they would use before you uh, you get into a. Uh, you would you would have this oil mixed with butter base for it, and that smell is exactly not exactly. But to other people's nose, is exactly, even just marijuana itself, it has an actual marijuana note in it. It's not on the note breakdown, however, it is there. And people will just think that you have a bag of weed in your pocket, or you've just been eating some marijuana brownies. Alright. So when you take it to work, it's not gonna fly. A lot of the younger people, the only younger crowd, are gonna think that you, you, you know, you're some marijuana guy. You're not gonna be thinking you were in cologne. You're gonna think you were handling this stuff before you got to work. Man. It's not good. However, boss is not gonna know. He doesn't mind. He liked it actually, but I would not wear this to work because of that. And you're gonna have that vibe of the um, the weed guy. You know what I mean? You don't want that vibe at all. However, when you're not at work, this works wonders. It works wonders. People. Can they catch it or you know either they mean it's marijuana or the note breakdown which is caramel top notes vanilla has a milk note to it lavender is there patchouli is a very strong note with this um what else is this? tonka bean okay there's a lot of notes you can go check it out on one of these websites for gramica just google it you'll see it note breakdown there's a lot of a lot of different notes on this all right, I, I stick to wearing this on the weekends. Winter, not summer. I've tried summer, but it's just too much. Actually, not really. If you're indoors, it's okay. But I'm in like, California and it's just way too hot. But I'll do whatever I want, depending on the mood. If it's nighttime, I'll go ahead and do it. But uh, yeah, this is a nighttime, winter, cold weather cologne. I stick to this on the weekends. But my, if I can actually throw it on at night, I'll do that after work. I'm gonna go out and I wanna, you know, be different from everybody else because it's one of those unique scents. People just don't know what they're smelling when they get this on their on their palate, you know? On their olfactory glands. And they'll just be surprised to smell something like this. Now, I got this online for forty dollars. Right, to 1.7. And it was I would say the first cologne I actually, you know, not the first, the second cologne I've actually sought out, you know, through a review. 
and um, it was very impressive. You know, I was just surprised, blown away by the projection, blown away by, you know, people would just start talking to me just because of what you're wearing. And then after that, it's kind of like, you know, they just want to get it. They just want to know what's, what's up with that. All right, guys, so this is Thierry Mugler, made in 1996. You know, this is a classic now. Right, internet. Have a great day.